Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Breakdown. In this episode today, we have two of the legendary super heavyweight arm wrestlers. On the left of screen, we have Richard Lubkies from the USA, and on the right of screen, none other than Denis Saplenkov from Russia, and it's at the Arnold's Classic. Alrighty, you can see, off the go, uh, Richard Lubkies from the left of screen, very strong in his connection through the top of his arm. Dennis Saplenkov trying to engage a hook, trying to turn uh, Richard Lubkies' palm up, but not happening. Richard Lubkies testing, coming forward a little bit to engage a little more peck and side pressure, but Dennis Saplenkov, you can see, has the superior arm power, and there is no victory option for Richard Lubkies inside. So you can see Richard Lubkies again testing, but the bicep power is enough, and, and Richard Lubkies goes back to, to an attack for the, against the hand. Dennis Saplenkov senses that and goes for the slip. Let's have a look at the replay. You'll see Richard Lubkies engaging his pet currently, tries to come up for a little bit of a press, testing inside, recognizes Dennis Saplenkov is too strong there, goes back to a dragging method, attacking the hand of Dennis Saplenkov, and Dennis Saplenkov concedes that recognizes I'll probably be better off in strap, goes to a flop wrist and gets the slip underneath Richard Lubke's arm. You can see a big match here, both both athletes recognizing how much force there is in this match. Off the go, you can see Dennis Saplenkov a bit more aggressive now, trying to get that hook set, but the back pressure and pronation from Richard Lubke's truly is tremendous. Having a look at the replay here, you can see quite an aggressive start from Dennis Saplenkov off the go. He allows Richard Lubke used to be the first one to move. As soon as that post is engaged against the strap, uh, Dennis Saplenkov really drives with his peck and with back pressure, trying to turn the palm of Richard Lubke's upwards so that a hook can be fully set. The hook only gets half set at best here from Dennis Saplenkov. Richard Lubke has too much pronation and too much rise through the hammer curl. And then Richard Lubkies returns on the attack again. We can see Dennis Saplenkov kind of lays his arm down, knowing that Dennis uh, has the superior arm power and that Richard Lubkies isn't going to go through the middle. But the elbow foul is called there. You can see if you look closely, when Dennis Saplenkov makes a bit of a surge, you'll see a little tiny bobble on his elbow and the referee naturally calls it. You can see just there, a little elbow rise off the pad and that is called the foul. Okay, going into the second start of this epic matchup here at the Arnold's Classic, you can see again, Richard Lubke's the first one to move, but Dennis Saplenkov containing that, kind of laying his arm down a little bit just so he can make it, uh, secure his cup and try to make it about the arm power. Dennis Saplenkov with the superior arm power through the center of the table, but Richard Lubke's very much making it about Dennis Saplenkov's hand and not allowing Dennis to get that cup set. You can see you can see Saplenkov trying to use the peck to engage it and the pronation is holding strong on Richard Lubkis at the moment. Another surge from Dennis Saplenkov and the, the sort of king's move, low king's move rotation now coming out, but we've got a victory, an absolutely exhausting victory there for Dennis Saplenkov. Let's have a look at the replay. You can see Richard Lubkis on the left of the screen using a king's move in rotation. I can imagine the lactic acid must be extreme in both athletes right now. And you can see, as either ma either one could have won here, to be honest. Richard Lubke's on the left of the screen, desperately trying to defend with pronation, but obviously has run out of gas in that department, and Dennis Blinkoff gets a gentle win in the end there with a press at the extremes of lactic acid. Ladies and gentlemen, that was The Breakdown.